In this tutorial, I'm going to explain what categories are in WordPress and how to use them. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. This video is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. If you find this video helpful, check out that playlist because you're going to find that super helpful. There's a link to that in the description down below. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. On the front end of a website, a category is used to organize your site. For example, this blog post right here is in the exercise category. This blog post is also in the exercise and this one is as well. But you could have a website that has five different categories and the posts belong to their specific categories and that category could be reflected in the navigation. It might not be, depends on your theme, but it's likely that it does appear if you have a blog. If you click into any one of these blog posts, we see the exercise category again in the breadcrumb up here. If we click on the exercise category link anywhere on the site, it will take us to a list of posts within that category. In this case, it's the same post as the homepage, but like I said, if you have different categories, it would be just the blog posts in that specific category. Category lists also often appear in the sidebar as they do over here. Click that link, it'll take you to this section as well. And categories are created inside the WordPress dashboard. I've got a bunch of tutorials that show you how to do it. I've linked to those in the description down below. They're part of the WordPress skills playlist. If you haven't checked out that playlist yet, I encourage you to do so. You'll learn a lot of stuff about WordPress in that playlist. But really quick, if we go to the dashboard, and then hover over posts and then go to categories. We see our category list right over here. This is where we can add new categories. We can also add categories inside the post editor itself. You may have plugins on your site that extend the functionality of WordPress by creating custom post types. For example, you might have, in addition to posts, media, and pages, you might have a portfolio section or a listing section or something like that. Those may also have categories available. By default, WordPress only has categories associated with posts, but yours might look a little different depending on what you have installed and what theme you have running and what's going on with your site. Pages most commonly do not have categories, although you can add them to pages if you really have to, but commonly they don't. And circling back to the very beginning, categories are used to organize your site. Usually you only have a handful of them. You're not gonna to wanna to have a separate category for every single post in your site. You're gonna want categories to lump content together and keep that content focused on a specific topic like exercise or healthy eating. And you could also be more specific. You could have a subcategory of exercise be cardio kickboxing, for example, and then have content focused on cardio kickboxing inside the subcategory of the main category, exercise. There's a lot of ways to go about it. And the other tutorials I referenced on categories will help you manipulate categories on your website. So make sure you check those out. If you found this video helpful, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress basic skills playlist on my YouTube channel. It'll answer lots and lots of WordPress questions for you. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.